you get sucked back in when you go and visit. If you're trying to separate from someone and you go and visit them, there may be some things that you like about them, but you kind of know that they're toxic or they're not your best. And you know long term you're going to separate from them, but every time you visit them, every time you establish contact, you kind of reset that process and you extend, you delay that process. It's the same thing with stuff. Every time you visit your storage unit, you prolong the agony of separating from the stuff that you don't use and you pay someone else to store. Now, of course, there's exceptions to these two things, but I am specifically talking about when you're trying to separate from someone or something. There is a lot of power in staying completely separated until you finalize the separation. Because the more you mix, the more you intermingle with something that you're trying to separate from long term, the harder it is, the more you get sucked back because you say, oh, it's not, you know, this person's not that bad. Or you say, this thing is somewhat good because there's good and bad to everything. But something that you kind of know is not your long term future. There's a reason that it's not your long-term future because even though it has good things, there's more things that you feel are bad than good. And separation is change. And change is hard because you force uncertainty into your future. And the more that you visit people or things, the, the more that you kind of delay the process of that uncertainty because you're clinging on to the certainty of having it for the good things that it offers but there's still you know kind of probably more bad things so don't allow your vision for your future to be clouded don't visit people while you're separating from them don't visit your things while you're trying to downsize remove stay removed and only periodically, when necessary, visit the person, the place, the thing you're trying to separate from. Whether the house you're trying to sell, whether the person you're trying to separate from, whether the things you're trying to throw out, stay separated until you finalize the separation. Why? Because you'll get sucked back in and you will delay your future. And I know the counter argument to yourself as well. I don't know exactly what the future will be when I separate from this thing or person. Well, you do the work and then you have faith for the future. You take the first step without seeing the entire staircase. You sell before you buy. You separate before you add another relationship. You do things in order. Why? Uh, because you kind of ensure that even though you may not know the future, you're doing things wisely and you'll be okay. And either way, you're pushing yourself to the next level. You got to do it. I hope this video helped. If it did, click the thumbs up. You want to support the channel, click the super thanks or join my membership. Thank you to my members. Share the video with someone you think it may help via text, social media, or whatever. Thank you for watching. Never stay in a toxic situation. Never stay in something that's only sometimes toxic. Never stay where you're unwelcome. Never stay where your future is not healthy.